Hello everybody, Happy New Year. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about my New Year's resolutions and goals, so let's get started. It's a brand new year, and this year I'm changing things up a little bit. First thing that I'm going to be working on, number one, is self-compassion. Being more compassionate towards myself, because a lot of times I feel a lot of guilt or shame about either the past things that I can't change or because I'm not accomplishing enough or setting my bar too high. Also with that many times I set too many goals because I feel like many of them are ones I have to do rather than maybe something that something I really really want to do. So working on self-compassion number one and with that comes more laughter and joy and just enjoying life and loving people because that is something that I really enjoy. I love to laugh. I enjoy being in social settings and being around others because it makes me really happy. So that's number one. Number two, which kind of goes a little bit with number one, I'm gonna be keeping a gratitude journal. I've never actually done that before, so I do have a journal that I'll be keeping my thoughts in and if I don't write in it every day that's okay but I'm gonna work on making that a habit because I do believe that brings us more joy number three I do have some financial goals the biggest one that I really want to work on this year is I want to work on some more passive income ideas I haven't written out a definite plan with that and with goals and New Year's resolutions we can't just say lose weight we have to write out an actual plan. Even if we don't actually write it out, it helps to have it down on paper though. But I'll be specifically working with affiliate marketing and I'll be doing some research on that and looking for more ways to make passive income. Also, number two, we do have a regular emergency savings account. It's fully funded and actually has more in it and it would be enough for us to live off a couple months. We also have a separate savings account that we can use for that's a high interest savings and we are saving for a car right now we have almost four thousand we don't need a car right now our car is in good shape but this way we can just keep saving for it each month so that when we need a vehicle my hope and prayer is that we'll be able to pay cash for it if not cash we would put down a really good down payment so our payments are low but my ultimate goal is to pay cash so that's why I'm making sure to save for that monthly also, another thing is our home. I know people have asked, hey, why haven't you worked on your floors yet? Well, that's because we've had all these Murphys happen. New refrigerator, air conditioner, all different kinds of different things that have come up that I didn't know were going to come up. But the one thing that is a need, and if any of you live in Texas, you know, we're going to be having our foundation looked at. We do need some foundation work. So before we get flooring or wallpapering or anything else, that has to come first. Once that's done, we can think about others. For me, I can only do things one step at a time. You guys know we live a debt-free life. And if I want to continue to do that, unfortunately, I just have to wait on some things. And I'm okay with that because I don't want to have all these high payments and have debt accruing. So that's really important to me. So if we have to wait a year, year and a half, two years for some things I'd like to get things that I need, the needs are more important. And last but not least, the book. We finished the Mystery Shop book, but my husband said it needs a little bit of rewrite on it and then get a cover on it, uploading it. So most of the work is done, but we do have some finishing touches. We didn't accomplish that in 2019, but we will in 2020 for sure. The bottom line is, I know some of you don't have goals or New Year's resolutions. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you decide to, the biggest question that I feel we should ask is, what is the most important to you? We shouldn't be comparing ourselves to others, but what do you really want for you? That's my question. This is Money Mom signing off, and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.